stick it in there. Tell you where you can stick it. What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the smallest automotive YouTube channel on all of YouTube. Today I'm going to finish up the interior pieces on this car. Now this car had a headliner at one time that was glued to the actual roof structure of the car. Somebody cut that out. I don't know why, but it's been gone since I've owned the car. And the trim pieces around it were that old white uh, perforated like vinyl material. So I wanted to update this car a little bit, you know, this car really isn't stock in any way anymore. So I went ahead and had those pieces covered in suede. So they're in black suede. Let me show you. Here's a, one of the visors that I just picked up here. My interior guy, Aaron, did a fantastic job. I can't wait to get this stuff in. Uh, if you are in the DFW area and you need an upholsterer, I will hook you up with Aaron. Send me an email, mrnobodysgarage at gmail.com. He does great work. Super nice guy. This is... Uh, Second time he's done stuff for this car, and hopefully he'll keep doing some cars for me. Here's my pieces. I mean, there's really not a lot of pieces to put in, but he had to custom make this headliner board and then cover it because these cars, let's see if I can get in here and show you. They had a headliner that was actually just glued to the roof line there. So these cars never actually had like an actual headliner piece that was removable in any way. So now I'll have one. There are tiny little holes that I had to poke through from the back side here. And because this suede material is so dark and it's a little bit dark in the car, I figured once I get in there, I'm never gonna find these things. So I went ahead and put a little bit of tape there so I know where the holes are once I get it up and I can put the screws through and get these things bolted down. So there's four pieces that kind of outline the roof line and then the headliner will slip in after. Rather than have some long drawn out stupid GoPro footage of me wrestling with this thing for as long as I did, I decided to just put it in and show you the final result. Check it out. I know it's a little difficult to see because it's all dark in here, but I think it came out really well. So just the visors are left. Here's the finished product. I think it looks really, really good in here now. Just a simple black suede, nothing too flashy, but it's so nice to finally have a headliner. You know, not very many panels to put in, really just five pieces and then the sun visors. I'm actually gonna order these reproduction uh, clips for the visors. So these are the stock ones that come in the car and they're plastic and you can see like one of them's already broken and cracked off so that doesn't hold. But they make some billet aluminum ones. One of the Pantera sites sells them. I think they're like 90 bucks. But I'm gonna go ahead and order those and then I can put the visors in and that's, that's it for the inside here. This car is just about done really. Um, there's not much else that I really have to do to this thing. I've just been driving it and enjoying it. <laughs> and this thing is so much fun. So now that I have this complete, I can finally do the review video of what it's like to own this car, drive this car, work on this car, you know, after owning it for uh, two years. Actually, it's over two years now. So hopefully I'll be making that soon. If we get some decent weather here in Texas, we're in for like another week of rain, but. It's coming, I promise you. I just realized I never showed you that I found wipers for this car. Check it out. That took me forever to figure out what fit. So they sell a set on eBay, but they're like $120. Those arms with new blades, I think cost me a total of 64 bucks and I was able to get them at O'Reilly. So now my car has wipers. Not that I plan on getting caught in the rain again, but it has happened. All right, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching. If you like these projects that I'm working on, please consider subscribing. And until next time, stay hungry, stay foolish.